Yeah, why don't you start one off? Not too fast, buddy. They don't know where that is. Well, they live around here. They probably heard of Whalen. They the old, probably heard of us. Cowbell Town. We're going to change gears here a little bit. We're going to go back and do a number that was recorded on a recent Tony Rice album. The name of it's Carolina Star.
Hey, we're up here having fun, and we are the Laker family. Uh, we come from a little town, cow town, uh, in between Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo. Uh, we are all family. Down here on the gold five-string banjo is the youngest member of the family. That's my youngest brother, uh, Scott Laker. Uh, standing right next to me on the doghouse bass is Scott's lovely wife, Colleen. Over here on lead guitar, Mr. George Laker. And uh, I'm kind of stuck in the middle. I'm Mitch Laker. We do a little bit of country music, a little bit of bluegrass, but uh, mainly we have a lot of fun. And we hope uh, you enjoy it a little bit today. Uh, we're going to do a few tunes that uh, we've played here over the years. Uh, it's kind of a family atmosphere, atmosphere for us. We uh, go down to Mom's house on Sunday and uh, play every Sunday. So we, we hope you enjoy it. So, Yeah. George, tell them about Hector. This uh, next tune is one that was recorded by a, a bluegrass group that uh, no longer is in existence. It was a uh, hot rise. Um, with Peter Wernick, and uh, we're going to try to do it justice if we can. It's called Hector Brown. Hector Brown, he lives on a farm. He's been a farmer all his life. But he had to slow down his heart broke down he went under a surgeon's knife and the four kids that he raised they all lived so far since his wife died Tell you, my friend, he's just like you. Tell you, my friend, she's just like you. Well, I know it was not very long ago that you were only 21. Time moves only one way, and you can't. trip down there. Did you see that wreck? Nope. I didn't oh, see no Oh, man. It's a terrible wreck down there. You was, just, you was driving too fast. I couldn't keep up Calum with you. Zoo. Oh, <laughs> man. That was a bad wreck. It what? Was a, a car come down on the exit. It was, I think it was a T-Bird. And uh, 
He plowed right in the side of this Mustang. Oh, man. It was bad? Real bad? There, there was horse manure and chicken feathers everywhere. Oh, <laughs> I think you better That's do a song. That's pretty bad, guy. Mitch. That is bad. Um, <laughs> how about, how about if, if, if we do a, a slow, real slow number? Now, oh, Mitch, you always pull this. Yeah, I know, but uh, it's time that we get a nice slow ba banjo ballad. So if you want to get up with Grandma and do a little waltz, this this will be her, her tune. This is a little one that Scotty likes to do. I hope his fingers are loosened up, but... Uh, it's called Kick a Mule. Slory normally doesn't. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> yep. You know, George, um, speaking of accidents, I got to tell you about this real bad accident. It, uh, it didn't happen this weekend, but it, it ran across last week. Uh, some real good friends are called uh, Mr. and Mrs. Carrot. Well, pretty good up, in, up until last weekend. They were out doing some Christmas shopping, and uh, they had a bad accident. Real bad accident. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it, it, you hate to see it happen to a couple like this because they're so close. Uh, Mr. Carrot's always taking real good care of Mrs. Carrot, and she's devoted her whole life to him. And they took him into the surgery, and I guess Mrs. Carrot didn't come out too bad. She was in pretty good shape. But they had surgery on Mr. Carrot, and they were in, I guess, about four hours in for surgery. Oh my. And uh, pretty soon the doctors come out, and he says, I uh, got some bad news for you, and I got some good news. He says, the uh, Good news is, is that Mr. Carrot's going to live. The bad news is he's going to be a vegetable all his life. <laughs> oh. That's the best I can do. <laughs> you know, I, I was up at the hospital just the other day. I didn't see that Mr. Carrot in there. <laughs> oh, you didn't? <laughs> no, I went up there to kind of play and cheer up this guy that was sick and a friend of mine that was With in your there. guitar? Yeah, I went up and, and uh, played and sang a song and went to leave. I told him, I said, I, I, I sure hope you get better. And he says, I hope you do too. I hope. <laughs> All of the wagon tracks around the church are gone. All of the wagon tracks around the church are gone. We don't have neighbors anymore. We all have telephones. We used to sit on our church too. Now we sit on phones. Thank you. 
visit, Dad gave him chicken from the yard. The preacher, he would thank him, and then he'd praise the Lord. These modern-day preachers, you know just what they do. They'd say, I'm not going back to visit that old fool. All of the wagon tracks around the church are gone. We don't have neighbors anymore. We all have the wrong. We used to set on our church field. you to know we're happy to be here it's uh we're really thrilled to be able to play for you this is a real treat for us and we hope this program they're getting going over in this area really gets off the ground and we hope we don't hurt it too bad either. no 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 we'd like to see bluegrass music get a little more exposure and uh, we're not really traditional bluegrass we play some traditional stuff and some more contemporary but well, we, we play everything a little bit different, George. We play for our own amazement, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good choice of words. <laughs> no, we have a lot of fun, and uh, it's, it's great to uh, have a family atmosphere that we can get together and do it in. Uh, I've got uh, one of my young sons is on the mandolin. He's tied up today, but he plays mandolin with us. But it's, it's something that uh, when somebody says that they don't like bluegrass or whatever. They haven't got into the new bluegrass. I mean, it, it's a lot different than it was years ago, but it's it's a nice type of music. If you can just get involved in it and take some time to listen to it, I think you'll enjoy it. So what are you going to do, George? We're going to do one here. It's our own rendition of a, an old bluegrass tune. We do it a little differently, like we do most of them. <laughs> this is our own uh, version of a tune called John Henry. And Scott's got a real different banjo lead in this. It's uh, something that he worked up on his own. It's and, uh, different every time, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We never know what he's going to play the next time around. Yeah. 
Scotty, Whew. you look like you're a little warm. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But that's why I come in. I didn't know if it was a roof leaking or what in here. It will be. It will be. We're gonna get in another gear here. It's got to do one that was recorded off a, uh, an album a while back. It was the uh, recorded on the uh, Little Circle Be Unbroken album. We kind of liked it, so Scott worked on it a little bit. It's an old tune called Nashville Blues. Scott. Well, let's see. What? Uh, how much time we got left here, anyway? Okay. One minute. One more song. One. Okay. Why don't we uh, get Scott to do a Doug's tune for us, then? As soon as he gets retuned. This, this, is, this is one of our favorite. We really enjoy it. We like to get into it. We hope you enjoy it. We hope you enjoyed the show today. Why don't you kick one off, Scotty?
And uh, thank you, folks. Uh, thank you, po folks, for listening. And uh, uh, this uh, concludes our show for today. And stay tuned next week. We'll be back with another hour of programming. This is DJ Davenport wishing you and yours the very, very best. Thank Hello, you. Everybody.